Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Addison of Property Hunter Ghana. I am at this fantastic five bedroom house. A lot of goodies. It's an uncompleted house, so it comes at a real good bargain for you. Uh, we are at Sapiman when you are about uh, 50 meters to uh, 50 meters to the tow boot you turn to your your right that is if you are coming from accra 50 meters to the tow boot the amasamai tow boot you turn to your right and you are uh, almost at this house or you are this house uh, very fantastic five bedroom house let's go inside and let me show you all the goodies that come with the house really huge house a uh, young fine gentleman built it he was actually building it for himself but at a point he decided to sell it because of uh, some family uh, arrangement so he will want to sell it to someone who is willing to make this house his or her own the major works have been done so you are just left with the finishing touches and you move into this house a huge house i'll tell you about it uh, this will be your uh, security post where your security man can stay comfortably let's look at how he did the security post so you have like a, a bedroom here of a sort and you have your washroom somewhere here so your, your security officer can stay here very comfortably without needing to go home or anything like that uh, it has a boys quarters or a maid's quarters whichever way you want to put it that is a two a two car garage a double garage uh, you could decide to leave it open or you could close it if you want a pergola will be going at the top here uh, he's selling it as it is but if you should buy it you probably put a pergola at the top here i'll i'll, I'll show you the balcony at the top there very huge balcony it covers the whole area of the two car garage so it's a huge one you could have lots of parties and things at the top there uh, he was uh, he done a, a borehole right now the cost of constructing the borehole i don't know it's quite la quite a lot of money but he's done a borehole look at that the the size of the land is about uh, 110 by 85 so the the front here is about 110 feet and it goes inside 85 feet so it's a huge land that you have available here i mean the number of cars that can park here you can park as many as you want he is now trying to put uh, uh, construct the the flooring for the yard so they have laid the the rubber the rubber mat for the construction of the yard you know that's how they do the construction that's the borehole so you just mechanize it and you are good to go the plan was to put a swimming pool here so he even dug the swimming pool initially but later uh, covered it because uh, it was gathering water you know mosquitoes worry the neighbor so he covered it but the plan is to put a swimming pool here around this area and you probably put a pergola somewhere here so when you drive uh, when someone comes to visit you there the person drive into the yard come and park somewhere here and you have your pergola here facing the person and you have your swimming pool somewhere here it will look really really nice a huge plot of land large house and uh, very very nice I'll, I'll i'll take you in inside in a minute i just want to show you around so you have your pergola here uh, sorry your swimming pool somewhere here and this area just under this uh, space this area is for a bar so you can have your open bar just here overlooking the swimming pool really nice overlooking your swimming pool you can have some table under this area some chairs and uh, outdoor sitting under this area and then just here is your is your gym so you have a large area for a gym put some equipment here your gym equipment really really nice one so you have your glass covering yeah, your glass door uh, covering this space overlooking the swimming pool and the pergola at the end there it will look really nice sometimes it takes a very good eye to look at an uncompleted house and see the vision of what the person was trying to do and if you should understand what the person was trying to do this place if you should buy it and complete it i'm telling you it will look fantastic so you have some spotlight under this area some spotlight and at the top there if you have your spotlight at the top there this thing is going to look crazy really really nice one you have here really really i'm, I'm telling you it will look really nice because when you when you look at the layout the layout is fantastic i've been through a lot of houses completed and uncompleted ones and when i see a good house 
I know because it doesn't take a lot to see a very nice a nice design so you have your two car garage here you could leave it open an open car garage you have your very nice cars when someone comes to visit you the person will see the car straight away or you could close it whichever way and you have a glass covering that space there but if you want to convert this to a, a room or something like that there's lot of space on the compound you know for parking so you could decide to convert this one to something else or you could use it as the garage as as, as it was intended whichever way you want to uh, but there's a lot of sp uh, space for parking if you want to park outside so this this will be your main entrance that goes straight into the house and when you turn on your right you have your double foyer living dining area uh, as i said it's an uncompleted house so this goes to the top of the house the stair goes to the top of the house very gentle very nice uh, you have your double foyer living area so you could have your chandelier from the top there you know i mean if you should buy this house and you have a good eye for design or you get a professional to do the design for you i'm telling you this is good this is going to look really really nice and that is your catwalk at the top there you have uh, three of two of them one on this side and one on this side so you have your living area here the tv will be on that wall you could do a very nice design from the top from down to top they have this modern uh, design for the tv area that you could do there and i bet you it's going to look fantastic and that will be the dining area so the dining will be here and you have your chandelier just on top of the dining your dining table will be somewhere here and uh, this will be like a sliding glass that opens onto an outdoor sitting area for your pool so the pool is the pool i showed you will be just here and your a bar will be just here like that and that's the gym really really nice one the guy who who built the house is a very young guy and uh, the design is fantastic i mean if you have if you have the idea it's just about the money fantastic design and just under the stairs you have some storage area the guy has a lot of uh, storage spaces in the house he really values uh, storage spaces because according to him uh, where he's from or where he lives have a lot of storage area so this is the kitchen and according to him this kitchen the size of the kitchen was strictly the idea of his wife so if a woman is designing a kitchen one thing that comes to mind is space she's going to design it very very large so the wife said she wants it extra large so this is the kitchen goes all the way to the end there this is like two kitchens in one and uh, the idea was to have you know some fro the deep freezers and things for fr the uh, frozen food and things like that on that side and the main kitchen will be somewhere here and this is the uh, laundry area or the laundry room it's a very large one when i asked him why is the laundry room so large he said they want to do the laundry the ironing everything laundry will be done here so you do the laundry you do the ironing everything here and you are good to go and this is the storage area you need extra storage but they still have extra storage for you so this is the laundry area and uh, that is the kitchen huge kitchen as such with huge windows you know very very large windows here and the boys quarters or the maid quarters is at the back here this is the back of the house as i said the land size is 110 by 85 that is about uh, one and a half plot almost two plots uh, the house is sitting on the five bedroom house is sitting on so it's a huge house for that and this is the maid quarters so this will be the maid bedroom and that is the washroom for the maid and then you have a, a wardrobe how many maid, maid quarters have you entered with your, that has an inbuilt wardrobe very few so you have your maid quarters here I mean, if you should buy this house, uh, what is left to complete it is not much. Uh, all you need is the foresight to complete the house. And the location is very quiet. When I was coming to this place, uh, Sapiman, I've, I've been around Sapiman quite a number of times, but this area 
I haven't come here before. When I was coming here, I realized the houses being built here, my brother. <laughs> people in Ghana, when you start talking to people and they start complaining about there is no money in Ghana, there's no money in Ghana, most likely you are talking to government workers. It's the government workers who are always complaining that there is no money in Ghana. Uh, this is your washroom. Uh, that's the visitor's washroom. It's the government workers who usually complain about no money in Ghana, but people are building fantastic properties in Ghana right now. It's not even funny. So, when you come through the garage, right, with your, gro your groceries or things from the market, you park the car, you walk through the garage, and then you go straight into the kitchen to put the things in the kitchen or in the storage area. That's a, that's a very, very good design. It tells me that this house was designed by an architect because having a direct passage to the kitchen from the garage so that you don't pass through the hall is the design of an architect. That's very, very thoughtful. So you have your visitor's room here or guest bedroom here. Good size guest bed. I like the high ceiling. The rooms, they have very high ceiling here. I like that. Uh, with lot of lot, lots of window space and you have your washroom for the guests just here as i was saying people who are always complaining about there is no money in ghana 99 percent of the time they are government workers because the pe people the houses people are building in ghana i mean sometimes you marvel that are we all living in the same ghana because people are building houses left, right, and center, especially within Accra. I don't know for, for the other regions, but within Accra, the houses people are building. When I was coming to this house, you look left and right. People are building mansions. Incredible houses. I was, I was so marveled. That's, are we all living in the same Ghana? And people are always complaining that there is no money in the system, the system is hard, and things like that. Uh, who are we talking to? That they're always telling us there is no money in the system. And I realized that the people we are talking to who are always complaining about no money in Ghana are most likely government workers. They are the ones who are always complaining. But people doing business in Ghana, my brother, if you, if, even if you live in America or in Europe, you can't touch these guys because this is the view from the top. So this area that I'm, I'm, I am standing right now is a living area. So you have like a family area here. You could have a TV on the wall like that or something like that. You have a nice family area here. That is the guest, the master bedroom. We'll go there in a minute. And then this area, he was talking about putting a kitchenette here. But I think you can put another living area here. That would be fantastic. Probably like a library, a study area, a study room or something like that. Yeah, that would be nice. But he has designed it for a kitchenette, a dry kitchen, as some people call it. So, uh, this is not a door, it's a window. But it leaves space to, you can see the, you can see the yard from the top here. Very, very nice one. That is the security post. And then on top of this, or... Oh, this that's why i told you that we, you put some spotlights here all the way it's going to look really nice and if i should buy this house my idea will be to have the strip light so you make you make a gap here for a strip light that goes all the way to the top like that probably two of them that are target you target two strip lights on, on on this wall and you have your spotlight there then another staggered strip light on that wall it's going to be really really nice when you are designing or when you are completing this house if you should get a, a interior decor to help you with the the setup is going to benefit you a lot more so before we enter the rooms i just want to show you the balcony from the top here so this is your balcony you have a you have your glass barricade here like that going to be really nice all the way around there and you have a huge balcony space you put a pergola here because this place is uh, is in the open quite sunny when the weather is hot so you have your pergola somewhere at the top here 
going to look really really nice yeah you have you know you can have parties you can host your guests yeah, your boys come to you you know guys can come and watch pre premier league match with a projector at the top here so this is one of the bedrooms this is one of the bedroom good size bedroom at the top here then the, that is the washroom for this bedroom and uh, this is the other bedroom uh, another good size bedroom at the top here that leads into this washroom this washroom is like a jack and jail so you have a washroom here and you have another bedroom here. but this to me this bedroom is quite small so if you should turn this into like a walk-in closet right you have a walk-in closet here and you have your your washroom here and this bedroom use this washing closet i think that would be a good idea but it's it's designed as a bedroom but to me it's quite small so it should rather be used as a walk-in closet that won't be bad so this is a five bedroom house with a boys quarters if you convert the other this room as i, I, I as i was saying to a walk-in closet then it becomes a four bedroom house but it's is is going to be look is going to look really fantastic so let's look at the master bedroom and uh, for the master bedroom we have this area for storage extra storage you could use it as a bedroom but because it has no access to a direct washroom so this will be a storage area where you have extra storage especially the ladies who appreciate this because sometimes there yeah, are things are a lot so this will be your master bedroom lot of sun coming in there. especially in the morning the sun rises from this side that's the east of uh, the building so the sun will be rising from that side so in the morning in the morning you have nice sunlight entering the bedroom by the evening uh, this place will be very cool and nice so this will be the male's uh, walk-in closet so this whole space is the male's walk-in closet that is the washroom and that is the female walk-in closet you can you can interchange it if you want but that's how the guy set it up so this is the washroom you have some design i think you get the idea of the design on the wall there you have the washroom here uh, and this is designated as hair's walking closet or the female's walking closet good space and uh, that is the master bedroom once again good size master bedroom uh, very high ceiling like the height of the ceiling here and uh, we go to the rest of the house just a little bit let me show you what you have here when it's completed uh, the design is really nice if you are interested give me a call the owner is ready to negotiate on the price uh, he's a very young guy ready to negotiate on the price he built this house for his own personal use but as i said due to some family uh, arrangement he will have to sell it and move into another property that they've completed already so uh, this one he built for himself so everything here is quality you know when you are when you are building for yourself the level of effort you put into the building is different, you know, because of, uh, you know, when you are building for yourself, it's, it's, it's going to be your own property. So you tend to put in a lot more effort. So if you are interested, give me a call. Let's negotiate on the price quickly. Uh, thank you for your time and have a very nice day. Bye.